I'm Simon Helberg. Um, I wrote and star in We'll Never Have Paris and co-directed it. And I'm Jocelyn Town, and I am the other co-director of We'll Never Have Paris. That's exactly right. So without giving too much away about the film, obviously it's a very personal film, and, and you know what, what can people expect from it? Well, it's not. It's, I, I think it's not your traditional romantic comedy. It's a little bit darker. It's... Um, um, it's a story about someone who uh, has doubts about uh, their relationship and and systematically screws up his entire life for a short and quick period of time and then scrambles to to right all of the wrongs and continues screwing up as he as he attempts to fix things yeah yeah I think it, it it's basically a story of, of uh, someone having a quarter-life crisis, um, which I think a lot of people experience, and, you know, a boy trying to become a man and, uh, and just fumbling at every single turn and, um, and, and panicking, and so, you know, uprooting his entire happy, complacent life because he fears that he, he is only complacent and not happy. Um, so why not ruin everything? Uh, and then it's just a series of terrible, terrible decisions over and over and over again um, while just trying to make the right decision, I guess. And it's about watching someone grow up, not quickly, but slowly, like mm. almost in real time. Like I think a lot of times in movies we get things wrapped up in this way of like big epiphanies um, that happen for a character. This is a, this is a small, like these are small steps, yeah. baby steps mm. <laughs> to growing up. And I think that that's often what it's really like in real life, not a huge 180 but mm. you know I think we all know someone who's uprooted their lives for someone and it hasn't quite worked out yeah and I mean is, is this a personal experience of, of one of, you, of of yourself or of a friend or you know is it, where, did, where did this sort of influence come from well this is our story actually it's, a, it's is, the story of our yeah, engagement um, and breakup yeah, this is the story. Yeah, exactly. It, it came from. I wish I could blame it on somebody else, but uh, it was the. It was how basically the road that led to our uh, proposal, which also was a disaster. Um, so, <laughs> <clears throat> basically, um, yeah, it, it's like within really a matter of days, um, there was just this scrambling, panicking, setting everything on fire and lying and deceiving and running to this person back to, to my girlfriend, to a different girl here, to my friends, to, you know, and lying and con confusion. And then, uh, and then finally saying, okay, this is, you know, I know I'm doing the right thing. And then uh, the girl goes to Paris, this girl, um, and uh, meets a guy there. Uh, but uh, only, only right before I showed up and tried to do the chivalrous, you know, uh, that make that grand gesture, um, and then uh, sobbing and groveling throughout all the the landmarks of uh, France, and um, and being sent home, and it just it's just like a neurotic person bouncing off the walls, trying to, you know, fix the thing that he just destroyed, um, and making it worse and worse, I guess. Yeah. Pretty much sums it up. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you hope people take away from from that uh, rollicking <laughs> romance experience? Um, I mean, I think in you know when you get really specific about your life, hopefully it it hits universal chords. So, yeah. I think for anyone else who's never had, who didn't have the perfect engagement story, um, you know, welcome to the club, <laughs> and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy our sort of. Yeah, you, you should walk away saying, "Wow, I guess it could always be worse." Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, um, yeah. Well, congratulations on the film. Thank you. I'm joining you in a couple of hours to go watch it. Oh, oh great. So, um, yeah, thank you very much for taking your time, and hopefully we get it down to Australia. That'd yeah, be great. Uh, yeah, yeah, that would be, that would be awesome. Although, so I don't think you can fly too far at the moment. No, at no. the moment I probably should stick to the States. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Unless I want to have like an international baby en route, you know, which could be cool. Multiple passports. Yeah. That would be yeah. amazing, wouldn't it? I could do that. I, <laughs> so I maybe really I should do that. I a bad kangaroo joke about the pouch, but I'm just going to... Let that go. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> Thanks, guys. So much for your time.